presented by Historic Redeemer Lutheran Church. Am I going to find new ways to cope with anxiety and fear? Am 
myself. Well, I certainly had my expectations, but we'll to see how it turns out. Our Lord Jesus speaks to our anxieties, our fears in today's gospel. And I wonder if any of the presenters next month will refer to today's gospel at all. It is call for faith and trust in what God does. Some people say that we live in a meritocracy here in the U.S. That is to say, success, fulfillment, a good life comes only to those who earn it. And the corollary to that is that those who lack those things, who lack success, fulfillment, it's their own fault. Now, there's some truth in that. But partial truths are always deceptive. They never give the full picture. Our Lord Jesus, here and throughout the Gospel, says God does not bless us because we earn it, because we deserve it, because we merit it. Birds, flowers, live by what God provides. Jesus reminds his first disciples and us, it is your Father's good pleasure to give you Kingdom. Don't you hear about earning? It's a gift. It is your Father's good pleasure to give you a kingdom. The kingdom is a big word in our Lord's teaching and in the Gospel. In the Gospel of Matthew, it's used 53 times. In Mark's Gospel, 19 times. In Luke's Gospel, for this year. We hear it used 42 times. John's Gospel only mentioned before. Nevertheless, kingdom is a big and important idea that our Lord is trying to talk about and communicate to us. So, what is this kingdom? Well, Jesus, before Pilate, told him, told Pilate, what it is not. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. In other words, of God, my kingdom, does not have armies, does not have palaces, does not have thrones, isn't measured by the wall or land that it comes. When God's kingdom is simply exists when God rules in the hearts and the minds of people. When God controls people's thoughts, people's actions. That's where the kingdom is. That's where God is in charge. That's where God is ruling and controlling. And once again, note that we have the kingdom. We are in the kingdom because God gives it to us. No, no, it's a gift. Jesus said, it is your Father's good pleasure to give it. So we are, or we have, God's kingdom by grace is a gift. And God takes delight in giving us that gift. So let's enjoy it. That's what it's for. The gospel is good news. Giving us joy. It takes delight in knowing that you are part of God's kingdom. Remember, don't forget it. Now, let's look at our Lord's final words in today's Gospel. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be. We all want to provide for ourselves and for our family. And that's natural and that's good. But in the process, how do we think about our financial well-being? Is it a means to care for ourselves and our family and others? Or is it an end in itself? Kind of like this woman locked up in the house with all her possessions. That was her life. Is it an end in itself, our financial well-being? Is it a paramount goal of 
our authority is still saved in God we trust. We have we trust in many coins or in God. All the readings today deal with faith and trust. Abraham, featured in the first lesson and in the epistle, lived by faith and trust against seemingly overwhelming negative obstacles. So, where are we? Where are you? Where am I in our journey of faith? Where is our focus on our providing for ourselves and our family? All lessons point to trust and faith in God. Work to provide for yourself. But finally put your trust or confidence in what God is going to do and provide for you and lead you to. I close with this prayer by E. B. Phillips. Pastor, prayer book author. Oh Lord, this week we may be given challenges. Maybe we be given challenges instead of peace. May we be given courage instead of content. Opportunities instead of rest. We have a Savior who brings strength out of service, faith out of struggle, and victory out of defeat. Go there. Fearful of nothing, sure that in everything we are held secure with the Master's steadfast love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace.